I was born under a crooked moon. My mother blamed the sky when she gave birth to a daughter. My father blamed me. Who is to blame for the distance between me and my true love? At last, I have found you. My salt water pearl in an ocean of despair. My sweet, sweet ward. I blame no one, my love. Instead, I sustain myself with your letters, your thoughts, the hope and promise of our eternal future. Okay, boy, I left you a whole bunch of papaya and veggies, okay? I wish I could take you, but I can't. Today is just a day for me and Velma. Wish me luck. Excuse me? I'm looking for Velma High's apartment, number 244. Oh, no. No. No, no, no uh, apartment here, just the, the mailbox. No, you, you don't understand. We're getting married, Velma and I. You want to marry mailbox? <laughs> no, I couldn't marry the mailbox. She's real. She's a person. I need her in my life, and she needs me in hers. Uh, Are you sure she doesn't live here? Oh, no. No. But this is 244. Delma wouldn't give me the wrong address. If, if you don't mind, I'll just wait. Velma. Where's my Velma? Velma? We're engaged to be married. Uh, who are you? I'm Ward Delp. Oh, oh, uh... She didn't tell you to come here. Where Ward, is she? she? Velma and I, Velma and I... Velma and I are like, uh, brother and sister. Um, we met at the library. She was checking out Eleanor Roosevelt. The book for the uh, for the lady at the rest home. She tell you about her job at the rest home? Yeah, in the nail salon too. <laughs> of course she did. Velma says she can tell you anything. We're saltwater pearl. Of course you are right. You're all Velma talks about. She was uh, born under a crooked moon, you know. She is so beautiful with her words. I know. Where is she? Uh, didn't you read? The letters? Uh, she said she would send for you when the time is right. You're supposed to wait. Who are you and where's my Velma? 
She told you about her father in, in China. The uh, stroke, slow death and everything. I want you to take me to Velma. Now. Will do. Will do. Grab your stuff, Ward. There's no time like the present. Okay. <laughs> What? I mean, you're, you're not supposed to show up. What you made me do? Oh, I'm a gentle guy. I don't hurt people. I need to move on Delt before we smell smoke. You got them all wrong. Got them all wrong, Stu. The guy burnt down 42 buildings in three different states. I put them away for arson. I got them wrong. Reformed arsonists. Read the President Frank's report. And when he did the jobs, it was all pro, mostly insurance. Not for kicks. All arsonists get kicks. It's a fascination with flames. It's some sort of weird sexual thing. That was in the prison report, too. Did you read that? Look, I got him a job here as a fire watcher. Well, there's a dream come true for an arsonist. Thank you. Marshal. Ward Delp installed a state-of-the-art fire suppression system. He helped prevent fires. And he turned his life around. He took a liability, he turned it into an asset. He jumped parole, and I'm gonna go find him, Stuart. That's my own personal little fire prevention campaign, if you don't mind. That's what I say. Look, you don't know him like I do. I've been his parole officer for four years. My dearest Ward, you are the roll of the ocean. You are the sum of midnight. I slip off my nightgown, I toss my covers on the floor. You are... Holy moly. That's kind of poetic. Velma, his obsession, the woman he wants to marry. I said, Ward, at least meet the woman first. He's gonna marry her, he's never met her? Only through the mail. He's, uh, I don't know, a little... Lonely, a little sexually frustrated. Look, find him. I don't want to violate his parole. If this guy goes back to prison, Please, just find them. Mona Street. Yep. You ever laid eyes on this woman? Uh, no, no, not in person. However, there is one. Like Bride, U.S. Marshal Service. Amy Brennan, Postal Inspector. Looking for a federal parolee who's been corresponding with this woman, Velma High. Oh, she's an exquisite beauty, huh? What's his name? Del. Del? It was my next destination. Small world. Claustrophobic world. Ward Delp is the victim of mail fraud. Velma. Velma's been soliciting money under false pretenses. Violation of U.S. Code Section 1341. Got a fistful of Jane Doe warrants on Velma. A lot of lonely men populate the planet. Actually, Mr. Marshall McBride, excuse me, there is one guy, right? He, he came last night, he's a big guy, and he was looking for this Velma. Yeah, he, he left this. Oh, yeah. For Velma, love from your husband to be Ward. Yeah. No chocolate? Oh, yeah, because he left them. You ate them? Yeah, I ate them. Blood didn't bother you? Blood? On the box. Oh, no, I, I, I did not notice that. What's with the fire extinguisher? Why is it dented? More blood. And more chocolate.
You're a firebug, Wardell. Isn't that interesting? David Buick. Jeez, I haven't heard that name in 20 years. <laughs> yeah. No, no. Oh, honey, I'm not going with you. You're not going. Because I don't want to go alone. Yeah. I gotta go. All right, talk to you later. Bye. Well, her name isn't Velma. What is it? Lily Chin. Three years ago, she was reported missing by her husband. Chin? Same name as you. Any relation? Do I assume that uh, you're related to Walter because your last name is Brennan? <laughs> OK. Oh, sweet and innocent. Yeah, sweet and innocent and maybe dead. Never found. <sighs> Don't take this personally, Ward, but you're about to have a terrible accident. Killed in one of your own awful fires. Please, understand. I'm not normally a violent person. I, I detest violence, but I... I cannot chance you going to the authorities. I... No, oh, I can't. Can't do it. I can't do it. No! Oh, God, my... Going? Going where? Your high school reunion. No, I don't think so. I didn't make my tenth. Married my high school sweetheart. Divorced him too. Oh, you don't want to go alone either, huh? Not alone would have been fine. Problem was Jill. Jill, it's Jill. My lover. You love her? I was voted class secretary McBride, not most likely to be a lesbian. You should have stayed where you belonged. Right end of your mailbox. Lily was raised in America. She had lost all ethnic identity. She wanted a traditional Chinese marriage. Huge banquet, great grandparents, uncles, aunts, all bearing the traditional gifts. Gold, jewelry, cash, thousands. I think they're mostly toasters and stuff. Tis Chinese traditional. Generous respect. So three days after the wedding, Lily disappears along with the wedding gifts. I reported her missing to the police. I never told them about the gifts. Too humiliating. Hmm. Do you think Lily wrote these letters? Yes. They smell like her. Sometimes I smell her on my old shirt or a pillowcase. But it's just my imagination. Dear Harry, I'm sewing pockets. Pockets for the hips of other women. I wanted to jump into a hole. Trying to give me a heart attack? Stable manager informed me I was two months in arrears in front of just everybody. He shouldn't have done that. Don't blame him. Blame you. You were supposed to pay the bill. I do certain things for you. You do certain things for me. That's our deal. You know what my polo means to me? What is it? You smell all stinky. Kerosene? Why don't you take up a cheaper sport? Chinese checkers. Uh-huh, very funny. Sometimes, Bruno, I don't think you're quite enough horse for me. <clears throat> I'm trying to write my novel. I'm trying to focus. Write faster, focus boy. Write just as fast as you can. What's with the gun, Lily? Why do you carry a gun? Oh, evil lurks everywhere. Evil lurks in your heart? True. And you love it. Warner Street rented a mailbox two years ago. Six months later, she was shot five times in the face. I got a makeover. That is a hardcore jealousy shooting. I've been tracking you all day. Dope could not handle prison again. 
I know, Stuart. You told me that already. Look, I made a difference in his life. Well, I hope you're right, but unfortunately, we just got a report there was a warehouse fire today that looked like a Delp signature piece. No, he didn't do it. You got to find him. Truth of the matter is, I feel somewhat responsible. I'm the one who told him to go out and meet people, to, to find someone that would appreciate his finer qualities. You know, someone, uh... Like you. No. What? But what are you saying? What are you saying? What are both of you saying? Ward was so lonesome that I thought if he found the companion... How do I put this? You're gay? You're gay? <laughs> no, I'm not gay. Why would you even say that? It's just a passing thought, Stuart. Passing... Yeah. Stuart. Stuart. Velma! Velma! Okay. Velma. You should have stuck with being a pen pal, pal. Velma does not exist uh. for you. <sighs> I'm drinking. Mm. I haven't had a drink in years. Please, do not mess with my mind. Well, they're not going to find a body in here. If they do, it won't be Ward Delph. This was an amateur job. Delph's better than that. Delph's ID? Well, the wallet was conveniently placed in a safe place away from the fire. So to catch Ward Delph, we start with Velma High, who becomes Mrs. Lily Chin, who disappears and becomes somebody. Somebody's murdered. Somebody starts a fire. Don't you just love a good mystery? Give me cluster headaches. I usually just get to chase people. The only mystery involved is how fast and how far. Somebody wants it to look like Delp was dead. Who? Why? I think Delp might have an idea. Oh. Oh, where are you? Sorry, it's my back. It's, it's killing me. Scott sure killed something. <sighs> that back. The writer's curse. Oh, plenty of guys make a living man have sex. You only go around the racetrack once. Be all the horse you can be, Bruno. Mm, you insult me, you grimace. When you grimace, it lines your skin. Get me the scotch. It's on my desk. Why do they call a novel a novel, not just a book? A scotch lily on my desk. Make your choice. Be a gelding or be a stud. Gay. I never said you were. How many letters from Velma to Ward did you find? Because that's the key. You find Velma, you find Ward. I know that, Stuart. Three. He used to say they were his hidden treasure. There's got to be more of them. Ward didn't commit that fire. I know. Feeling a little better, baby? No. Well, here's something to suck on. And here's your love letter to Roy. What I want to know is, who is Roy? Who is Velma? And why are you sending Roy a picture of me? Is this the woman you've been corresponding with? Velma. So beautiful. Is Velma all right? Well, that would be wide open to interpretation. Mr. Brown, we're searching for a fugitive. And the only way we can get to Velma 
is through the men that she wrote to. Men? Men. Yeah. We're going to have to ask you to show us your letters. <laughs> I'm going to have to say no. Those letters are between Velma and myself. The woman you're in love with doesn't exist. You're being conned. Conned. You're talking to the chemist who developed the components to retrack. The antidepressant? I'm a scientist. Cover of Time magazine. I deal in facts. I know the truth. The truth is, Velma has written to hundreds of men, maybe thousands, and asked them to give her money. That's impossible. This is the strongest connection with a woman that I've ever had. But you've never even met her. I know her through her words. That's enough for me. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. A million times sorry. I had no right to use your picture. I'm sorry. No more. I promise in my mother's eyes, no more letters. I'll quit, OK? Sorry doesn't touch me. And what are you going to do for a living? Write a novel? Get real. How could you pick such a stupid name? Velma. Velma is a reference to the great Raymond Chandler. Philip Marlowe. Couple more guys you wrote love letters to? Raymond Chandler is a famous writer. Velma was a character that he wrote. Moose Malloy's looking for Velma. Velma sucks. Velma was a dynamite babe. Men killed for her. Feel flattered. Oh, great. I'm the stereotypical chaste, submissive little Asian, a fantasy geisha. Velma is humble, demure. Velma longs for sex because she longs for love. These jerks don't want this lovey-dovey crap. What do men want, Lily? They want me. They want me every way you have me in ways you haven't even thought of. This is your Asian sex goddess speaking. You're wondering what a graphologist can possibly tell you that you don't already know. No, I, I'm just, no, no. Why don't you write something for me? First thing that comes to mind. Me? Yeah. OK. <laughs> um. Can't forget the white toothpaste. That is revealing. First thing. Those block letters you toss in with such abandon indicate conflict. And that selfish T. <laughs> Separate and alone. You don't swim with other ducks, do you? Um, why don't we uh, get back to Velma? Velma is a tease. She knows just when to stop, always leaving them waiting. I hope she leaves them with hope. Like Susan Sanders. This girl I knew in high school. I was in love with her, actually. Man, she had a sweater that could light up study hall. Interesting. Did you go together? Well, I kept asking her out. Beautiful, but what? Way too cool. If you could weigh the letter A, these three A's would weigh exactly the same to the ounce. I waited till I got my driver's license and I asked her out to the Pink Floyd concert. She went? No. <gasps> Never. I kept asking she wouldn't go out with me. Uh, whatever happened to Susan Sanders, don't you want to find out? <laughs> Vilma is manipulative. She's probably fat, toothless, and married to a kelp salesman. Vilma has an extremely high IQ. And Vilma is a man. Vilma, it's me, your saltwater pearl. Who's <laughs> that? Why did you bring that man here? To our house, where we live! I'm gonna trace him back to you, you know that! Come on, Lily. Please. I am not Lily. I am 
Velma. This knockout babe that men kill for. Kill for me. Kill that man. Kill him. I'll take care of the light housekeeping. Clean the trail of blood that leads back to here. Kowalski. Stuart Kowalski, yeah. Yeah, Kwa what? He went to visit a bird. Squire Trelawney. You're gonna stay with me a while, okay? Everything's gonna be all right. I just gotta find something. We'll continue in a moment here on ABC. Ward Delp comes home, finds his parole officer snooping around, goes bang, 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 then dabbles in his favorite activity, arson. A no-brainer. Delp can start fires, and he can put them out. See the suppression system? He built it and installed it himself. <sighs> Detective, I appreciate if the park police can supply us with a cast of the high-heeled footprints outside. Sure thing. This is a second fire designed to implicate Delp. Why was Stuart here? To feed the bird. And to collect Velma's letters. Treasure. What? Treasure. Stuart said Velma's letters were his hidden treasure. The bird's name is Squire Trelawney. That's the character out of Treasure Island. thinking. You think Velma came here to get the letters and shot Stuart? That's half of what I'm thinking. Well, murder's not Velma's M.O. Maybe it wasn't before, but it might be now. I think there are two Velmas, male and female. I killed him. I killed a Ward Delp. How many times do I have to say it? I need reassurance. Reassurance? Who reassures me? Who makes, who makes me feel better? I make you feel better, baby. What? Should I have taken a snapshot? That would comfort me, because Bruno, I did kill a man. Some guy at Delp's cabin. I think he recognized me. I went there to get the letters. I was trying to help you. 
killed somebody? I didn't go there to kill somebody. There he was. Did it for you. You actually took a man's life? How could you do that? I did what you did. You killed a man, I killed a man. If you killed Delp, why are you so shocked because I killed somebody? You did kill him, didn't you? What did I say the last time? What did I say the time before that? You said yes. Is that your answer? Yes? Yes, yes, yes! Yes. We have more victims to talk to. More letters came in, some filled with checks, cash, small change. I was wrong. Phone sex is cheaper. Huh? Here's what you want. Everything on the Mona Street homicide. Suspect interrogations. It's all there. Mona. All oh, right. The original mailbox renter. Shot in the face. This is interesting. What? Mona. When Mona Street turned up dead, they brought her boyfriend in for questioning. His name was Bruno Schroeder, but they had to let him go because he had an alibi. He asked me who his alibi was. Okay, who was his alibi? His alibi was Lily Tang. Lily who? Lily Tang, Lily Chin's maiden name. Oh, you are not dreaming. Merle, it's me, Velma, your saltwater pearl. <laughs> oh, to hear your voice. It is like waves, broken waves crashing on the shore. I long to touch you, to feel. What do you think you're doing? Learning the family business. There is no family business. It's my business and everything must go. I'm getting rid of all the letters and burning them, all of them. If one guy can cross the line, other guys can. And please. Remove your feet from my desk. The business is under new management. Me. You. Velma is my creation. I am Velma. Velma in the flesh. And all that flesh implies. Woman of so many men's dreams. Me. I'll tell you when you can crash and burn. We found a letter you wrote to Velma in a drop box that's being used for mail fraud. Mail fraud? Should have been here last night. Why, what happened last night? I've been imagining Velma's voice for like six months. Every time I read her letters, you know? Sometimes I hear that real hot rabbit. Real hot rabbit? Sexy dress, cleavage, you know? The movie? Roger Rabbit. Oh, Je Jessica Rabbit. Yeah, that's what she sounds. In my head, sometimes. So anyways, last night, I answered the phone, and it was her. Major mind blow. Velma on call waiting. What you talk about? She asked me what I did for a living. <laughs> I wanted to impress her. So I told her I was the manager at Burger Town. Did that impress her? She said we'd have something to talk about if I owned the Burger Town chain. I'll get back to you. That was my office. I got two calls, two, from victims. Both of them got phone calls from Belma. Did you tap their phones? Done. Well, the scenario's changing. Velma's stepping up. She's not just words on paper anymore. She's a real person. More mystery stuff. Assuming there are two Velmas, I would say they want two different things. One wants to retire, and one wants to work. Which is which? I would say the one that called Mitch is the one that wants to retire. OK. So Velma's looking for that big score. What about the other one, the one that wants to work? I would say that one should start looking for a new job. What's that? Ginseng. Good for your sex drive. 
<laughs> um, so, um, Manny, do you own the Shutter Company? Uh, too bad. What made you change your mind? Like I said, I'm a scientist. I know facts. Sometimes I just misread them. I did want to misread them. And now I don't. Well, when I'm not feeling well, there's nothing like rice pudding. Mm. Mm. It's good, isn't it? Mm. Mm. More? Mm. Yeah. Mm. Good. <gasps> Me too. Me too, too, too. <laughs> Great. It's a date. Before your letters, I was a broken rainbow. Broken rainbow. Broken rainbow. You speak so beautifully. Oh, Robert, I am sorry. What? Sorry for what? I'm not educated like you. I speak only from my heart. You have a beautiful heart. My work, my work, it's, it, it's allowed me to soften the edges of this harsh world. But all my money and all these trappings, they've left me alone. I too am alone. Do you think that we are not complete until we find our other half? You are my other half. Do you want a cookie? Oh. I've just lost 50% of my cookie in my milk. But that's okay, the mushy part's the best part. The mushy part is the best part. <laughs> McBride, you are a trip. Oh, Robert, could I see the pool? <laughs> Robert, Robert, I want you to make love to me, right here, right now. Well, we can make love any way you want to. Showtime. I think we should, yes. I, I think we should wait. Wait for what? I no, can't no, no, wait. No, 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 wait till you're Mrs. Brown. Mrs. Robert Brown? Me? Oh, Robert, I would be honored. Well, I think right now I have to go to the lab. So soon? 
Yes, I, I go there every evening. That's where I find it's best I can concentrate. Less distractions. Goodbye, Robert. I will call you tomorrow. Gun on me. Oh, no, you don't. I blame you too. It's not as much as her. Who is a rich guy like you driving a Chevy? I'm frugal. Hey, Brian, I'm on her tail. I don't see you. It's it's going to be all right. All right? All right for who? You've been drinking. Put down the gun. My brother, he has a drinking problem. When he drinks, he gets a little crazy. You're crazy when you double cross me. Give me the gun, my love. He wrote to Velma, didn't he? He loves Velma, doesn't he? Huh? Huh? Velma, I've come for you. Hi, Ward. Hey, how do you know my name? I thought you took care of him. Well, he did take care of me, I guess, pretty good, uh, the rice pudding and stuff, but I didn't like being all tied up. I didn't like that one bit. Come with me, Velma. She doesn't love you, Ward. Yes, she does. I'm her roll of the ocean. I'm her son at midnight. But did not mean those words. You have no idea what you're doing. She said those same words to him. I heard her. She said, he's my saltwater pearl. That's not true. I'm not her saltwater pearl. I know you from somewhere. Yeah, your rival. Velma loves him, Ward. Is that true, Velma? Do you love him? What I want to know is how it felt to shoot Mona Street five times in the face. I didn't shoot Mona Street. I didn't say you did. Lily. How come you called her Lily? Her name is Velma. Her name is Lily Tang. You're not Robert Brown. Who are you? Deputy Marshal Winston McBride. Hey, you arrested me. <laughs> cool. You'll find a badge in my pocket. Oh, man. Oh, man. What are you doing with Velma, Marshal? Why would I kill someone I've never even met? You met her, remember, a couple of times. You didn't like her. What possible reason would I have to kill Mona? 
She was nothing but a cheap stripper. She was an interpretive dancer. Jealousy. She had everything you wanted. She had Bruno, but now you have Bruno, and you're gonna turn on him, aren't you? All the time you thought she was your alibi, you were her alibi. She was lying to you, Bruno. You did kill Mona. You killed her. You missed your little lap dancer, Bruno. No! Lord! You finally managed to kill. You killed her. You killed Velma. There is no Velma. There never was. She didn't exist. She did. She did. She doesn't now. Next on The Marshal. Ten years we've been after this guy. She picked him up and she didn't deliver. There is nothing unscrupulous going on, all right? And the FBI has witnesses and statements. What witnesses? That he paid her. I'm a businessman. Pick up the phone. Look, you get the money, I'll find you. They're either the most brilliant crooks I've ever run across or the dumbest. <laughs> what's next? You know what's next? He wants to know what's next, boy. <laughs> Not a good idea! They thought they had seen it all, that nothing could affect their job, until a horrific crime hits too close to home and sends Andy over the edge. I'm working this case. If you don't like it, you can get off. An all-new Blue, Tuesday, viewer discretion advised. The network news wants a piece of Teddy's client. No questions about the crime. Isn't it possible you strangled her and you just don't remember? Murder One Thursday.